Hello, my name is Michael Griggs. I am the uh, Director of Clinical Services for BREAS. Um, and so over the next few minutes, I'm going to go over the uh, mode menu. Um, so to get into the mode menu itself, uh, we're going to press the uh, mode menu and that opens up our options as uh, far as uh, what our mode uh, choices are. Uh, so what you'll see right at the top is that we have a ventilation mode, uh, we have pressure options, we have a volume option as well as CPAP option. Um, I currently have a box around pressure, so I'm currently in a pressure mode. And then down here I have a choice for my breath mode. Currently I have a choice for support, assist control, MPV stands for mouthpiece ventilation as well as SIMV. Okay. So currently in my breath mode, I have a box around uh, support. So uh, the uh, mode of ventilation that the ventilator is in right now is in pressure support. Um, in order to make a change within my mode menu, okay, I come over here to my um, uh, four navigation buttons. And as you can see, I can navigate through my menu by either moving down from the top or I can move up from the bottom. Okay. But I'm just going to simply highlight the parameter that I want to change okay, by moving up or down. And then I'm going to move left and right to make a change. Okay, So I can uh, basically move uh, left and or right. Uh, but if you just remember that up and down always uh, highlights something. And left and right will always change something. Okay. So up and down to highlight, left and right to change. So I'm going to place the device into uh, or change the mode of ventilation to a uh, volume mode just to kind of give you a demonstration on how to make a mode change. So I've selected or highlighted the uh, ventilation mode parameter. I'm going to move the box over to volume. And then as I move down, my choices are either volume assist control, volume mouthpiece ventilation, or volume SIMV. Uh, let's go ahead and just choose volume SIMV. Um, down here you'll see uh, a cancel to, can to cancel out of making a mode change or a next option. So I'm going to press the next button and this is basically now taking to me my settings. All of my settings are on one screen. Navigation through this menu is exactly the same as the, uh, the mode menu. Okay, up and down to highlight, left and right to change. Okay. So I currently have a tidal volume of 300, a PEEP of 5, respiratory rate, or a set SIMV rate of 12, inspiratory time of 1, rise time is turned off currently, inspiratory trigger of 3, and a flow pattern um, of a uh, square waveform. My support breath settings, I have a support pressure, a rise time, as well as an expiratory trigger. Okay, so if I wanted to make any changes, uh, again, I'm just going to simply highlight the parameter I want to change. I can change to a descending flow pattern. Uh, maybe uh, we can turn this uh, support pressure down uh, to, let's say, 10. Okay. Um, and uh, maybe perhaps change my rise time. Okay. But uh, let's just say I'm a caregiver at the bedside, and I'm not entirely sure what rise time means. Okay. Uh, I've got a little special I button here. Um, so if I press that I button, over here on the left-hand side of the monitoring screen, you'll see that I've got some help information. This is going to give me a definition of what rise time means. Okay, The rise time setting controls the speed of the pressure increase from inspiratory start to the set pressure. A high setting is going to give a slow increase, therefore a shorter plateau, and the low setting is going to get a faster increase and therefore a larger plateau. Um, they've also um, done a good thing where they've given you a visual also. So how you're affecting rise time or how you're affecting the expiratory trigger. Um, you can uh, visually see how you are uh, affecting uh, those settings. Okay. So let's just, um, I'm going to turn the eye uh, button off. But let's just say you've got the settings right where you want them. Okay. You can then come to your next button and all of your alarm settings. Okay, I currently have all my alarm settings turned off. Uh, you can do that, okay? I don't make any recommendations as far as your alarm settings. I'm just making you aware that they all can be turned off except for your high pressure and your low pressure. Um, so you'll see I'm still in a pressure support mode of ventilation. Um, I have not switched to my volume SIMV yet. Um, we're just gonna pretend like I've got my alarms right where I want them. 
and I'm going to hit the next button. It's now asking me to confirm that I do have a leakage circuit attached to the device. I do have a passive circuit attached to the machine. I am going to go ahead and click confirm. Okay. So now I am now in a volume SIMV uh, setting. Okay. And uh, I have uh, changed the mode of ventilation. Okay, so that's how, <coughs> excuse me, that's how you can um, change the uh, ventilation mode, okay? Uh, I do want to highlight the uh, patient mode and just explain what the patient mode means. I currently have a box around adult, which means that I am in the adult patient mode, and my other choice is pediatric. Now, the adult patient mode, it just basically, it, the uh, patient modes do not have anything to do with the age of the patient or or the, uh, uh, the size of the patient, what you're looking at is the parameters that are available to you. Uh, so for instance, when you're in the adult mode, uh, the uh, tidal volume range is from 300 to uh, 2,500, I believe. Okay, so any tidal volume higher than 300, if you want to uh, deliver a specific tidal volume, the adult mode will only allow for tidal volumes higher than 300. So if you have tidal volumes that are less than 300, or if you have tidal volume needs setting, uh, tidal volume setting needs less than 300, then you will need to be in the uh, pediatric mode, okay? Um, as far as peak pressures, uh, in the uh, pediatric mode, <coughs> excuse me, we can deliver pressures up to uh, 35 centimeters of water pressure. Um, anything higher, if you have needs, anything higher than 35 centimeters of water pressure, then you will need to be in the adult uh, mode, okay? Uh, so that's the, um, the patient mode. When the ventilator is running, um, unfortunately, you cannot change the adult or pediatric mode. You have to place the ventilator back into standby in order to, um, in order to uh, change the uh, patient mode. And finally, uh, you've got your device mode. I currently have a box around clinical. If I highlight clinical and um, I move the uh, box over to home, you'll see that uh, I now have a box around home. It'll ask me, do I wanna enter the, the home mode? I'm gonna go ahead and click yes. And what I've done is I have locked the uh, patient out from making changes on the machine, okay? now. Uh, there are some instances when you can make changes when the, uh, the screen is locked, um, and I will get into that in just a moment in, other, uh, in another video. Um, but you do have access to still looking at all of your uh, main settings and your monitored values. You just cannot make any changes to the machine while it is locked. Okay, So to unlock the device, you're going to press the uh, left and right keys down simultaneously. If you do that correctly, you will see a message on the screen immediately that says that you are entering clinical mode. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and press those buttons down again because if I press the left and right key down simultaneously, you'll see that I can also enter the home mode. So I can lock and unlock the device by pressing these two keys down, the left and the right key down simultaneously. If you press those two keys down and you do not um, see anything on your screen, then let go, okay? Take your fingers off and then try it again because if you do hit them simultaneously, you will see a message immediately uh, to kind of alert you that you have done it correctly, okay? So that is the uh, way to unlock and lock the machine. Uh, this is basically your mode menu. Um, I've kind of gone over how to make changes, and, uh, and that's basically it. Uh, I have a box around volume. I have a box around SIMV. That's currently the mode of ventilation that I'm in. I am in the adult mode, and I am in the clinical mode uh, as well so that I'm, uh, I'm able to make changes. Okay, so that is the mode menu, and I appreciate your time. Thank you very much.